All right, so Chapter 5, Season 2 is finally here, and it's called Myths and Mortals. So I thought, well, why not do a myth-busting episode? So I've got a list of things I wanted to test out. If you have any other things you want to see, just let me know in the comments, and maybe I can do a follow-up video. So I'm going into a custom private match with my son, and we're going to test a few things out. So let's get started. Okay, so first, let's start with the Zeus Lightning Bolt. So as you can see here, you can find it pretty much anywhere, including floor loot. You can also find it in chess as well as from Zeus himself. So as you can see, like I said, Zeus does drop a Lightning Bolt. Now, what I wanted to test, can you hold multiple ones? And the answer, yes. So as you can see, you could literally hold five of these if you want it. You'd have to find five, of course, but it's confirmed that you can hold more than one. So the next thing I want to test is whether or not Zeus's medallion, the aspect of speed, prevents fall damage. So you can see it says run faster and jump higher while sprinting. So you need stamina for this, but this is the sprint. So watch this. You turn gold, and as long as you have stamina, you get that increased sprint speed. And the same thing is true for jumping. So we got to let our stamina regen. So you have to be sprinting. Jumping normally does nothing, but when you sprint, watch this. Whee! It takes a lot of stamina. Now, from what I tested, you cannot take fall damage. However, people in my comment section said you can. I don't believe it, so we're testing it. So I jumped off this and took 20 fall damage right here. You can see my health, 81. It did cause fall damage. So I'm going to sprint, and we're going to jump, and we're going to see if we take any. Here we go. No fall damage. So I don't know what the guy did. He left me a comment and said he jumped off Loot Island and he died. So maybe he didn't have stamina. You gotta have the gold glow and you gotta have stamina. Okay, so next we're gonna test the aspect of agility medallion. So this is the one that Cerberus drops. So I was told that you cannot dash after Shockwave. So right now with this medallion, how it works, every few seconds you will spawn a green skull. And that determines how many times you can dash. So you can see I got one right there, another just spawned. So now I can dash twice. Watch this. You just hit the double jump. And there's a little bit of a delay between them. So again, I was told that if you shockwave, then try to dash, it doesn't work. So let's see. You can clearly see I have two skulls available. So we're going to shockwave. You can. Okay. Who's telling me these lies? So you clearly can do that. Let's try Mythbusters with the wings. So when you use a flow berry, let's see how high we can jump. We're going to measure it against this wall right here. Okay, Jack, you watch me and tell me if I jump higher, okay? So here's a flow berry and a normal jump. So I get about to the top of the blades up there. Okay, so now I was told that if you have the wings just equipped and you eat a flow berry, you're going to go higher. So let's see. Oh, you do, Jackie! Look how high it went! That is 100% confirmed. Look at that. Yeah, when you have the wings, you go higher. That's crazy. So how about just jumping normally? So we get about to mid-shield. And with the wings, let's see. Okay, so you don't jump higher normally. Now, I just wanted to show you that you can also hold multiple sets of wings. So you can hold up to five of those if you want it. Now, the next thing I wanted to show is if you take damage while you're flying, it automatically dive bombs you down. So Jack's flying around in the sky. I'm going to shoot him down, and he's not even touching his controller right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see how much damage it takes, actually. So that made him dive bomb after just a little bit of damage. So you do the same to me, Jack. Okay. Take that was one hit. Yeah, that's how powerful the DMR is. One shot brought me down. So that's frustrating because sometimes you don't want to crash land and you're on a cooldown now. So you can't reuse it. That's crazy. Okay, so another crazy feature here is that just equipping the wings prevents fall damage. So if I jumped off this ledge right here, I would 100% die. But if I have the wings equipped and just jump off, I will not die. Watch this. The wings 100% prevent fall damage. How crazy is that? All you have to do is be wearing it. That's it. Now, again, I just wanted to prove that the Zeus ability, again, prevents fall damage. So I'm going to jump right off. I'm going to sprint and jump. This is how the guy said he died. And I did not. Right off the top rope, nothing. Now, one more test with fall damage. How about Zeus's Mythic? If I jump off and then use that, 
Will I die going down? So we're going to jump off. We're going to use it in midair. Will it still plummet me to my death? Here we go. No. So that 100% prevents fall damage as well. That is awesome. Okay, so next up, I just wanted to prove that the water dash effect, so again, you got to go into the green water to get three of these, will prevent fall damage completely. So I'm at the top of this. We're going to jump right down there and dash in the process. No fall damage. Amazing. So now I'm going to test the siphon medallion. We're going to see just how much siphon you actually get. Okay, so clearly I have the siphon medallion. Let's test number one. Does it work on animals? So I'm at 65.90. Here we go. 65.90 still. Nothing. So I'm going to eliminate Jack. You get nothing for knocking. I'll try to see what you're saying about my days. Sorry, but when you finish, let's see how much siphon gives you. 50. So if you're missing white health, it looks like you get that first and then shield. Okay, so next we're going to test the thermal scope versus a bush. So on PlayStation, you can tell when someone's in there. So right there is where someone is. You can clearly see that my crosshair turned red. So that's right where he is. I'm going to shoot actually once right there. Watch this. So it hits him. Uh, shot me. Okay, so how about with the thermal? No, kind of. not... Uh, I mean, I can see a foot or something right there. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, step out real quick. I won't shoot. Step out. So you can clearly see how they look. We'll go back and forth. And then go back into the bush. So unfortunately, unless they're sticking out... I mean, it does help a little bit. But the PlayStation trick is even better. Because if you just put your crosshairs over there, you can see exactly where they are. It's a little OP. Okay, so next up is something new with the hireable NPCs. So I witnessed this in a game and I couldn't believe it. So my son Jack has hired Meowsles right there in the back. So I'm going to eliminate Jack, who hired him. And watch what the NPC does, okay? Here we go. I gotta eliminate him in full. We're gonna see how much Siphon we get as well. Oh crap, hold on. Okay, so here we go, we're at 36 and 40. <gasps> Nice chuck. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I think it gave me 50. So look what happened to the NPC. He turns into a hologram, and I think I can rehire him now. Look at that. So that did not happen last season. So oddly enough, even though it shows that you can hire him again, it's not giving me the option. But I think he runs back to his original location. This is what I saw in-game. After I eliminated someone that had an NPC, the NPC turned into a hologram, and then he went running. Almost like he was crying. He went running home, and then he vanished. So he's doing a creepy walk right now. So once you defeat Ares, the god of war, you get the aspect of combat. And any ranged weapon gets increased damage. So for example, Ares drops this, the Warforged Assault Rifle. If we look at the damage, it deals 31. However, when you pick this up, it shows the increased damage now it goes to 33, so it increases the damage by two, which may not seem like a lot, but it really is. So how about the shotgun? Does that count? It's at 68. Is that a ranged weapon? Let's see. And it does. So that goes up by three damage. Three for the blue frenzy. So the purple pistol is 28 damage. Let's pick it back up. And with the medallion is now 30. So you'll have to pick up weapons and then drop it and pick it back up and see which benefits the most. But the fact that even shotguns benefit from this, that's crazy. Okay, so as I'm making this video, I just read from the data miners that Epic has nerfed the wings. In particular, the dive bomb. So you used to be able to dive bomb at 64 meters. Now it says you have to be 800 meters. So let's see if that's actually in the game yet. So I'm gonna go up and let's try a dive bomb. Okay, well, it's still letting me die bomb, and I was not 800 meters up. Hmm. Let me try again. I mean, 800 meters? I'm 23 meters right now. Eight, there's no way, because 800 meters would be way... No, there's no way. I mean, you can't even get to 800 meters, I don't think. Yeah, my max is 130 right here. Well, maybe it's not meters, but let's see if we can dive bomb from this height. Why is that car in the water? I did that. So I'm still able to dive bomb, so I don't know what that nerf is about, but that's what the data miners say. 
Direct quote is the minimum height in order to activate a dive bomb has been increased by 1250%. Let's go down as close to the ground as we can and see if we can still dive bomb. Hey, it still works for me, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you are having difficulties dive bombing. You don't actually want to dive bomb because you're a sitting duck when you do that. The animation is ridiculously slow. And as you're coming, hurling down, you can get lasered by a good player. So, I don't know. I didn't think that was the overpowered part of these wings. If anything, they're underpowered because as soon as you use them, people shoot you. And then you're forced to dive. There. It automatically tumbles me down and then I go flying to the ground. I did not dive bomb there. That's 100% automatic and it will get you eliminated. It's so oh, frustrating. Okay, here we go. Watch this. He's going down already. I barely even hit him, and he went down. That's how dumb that is. So if a skilled player sees you in the sky, two taps, and you're flying down, and you can't do anything about it. I'm going to 1v1 these guys. Tell us when you're ready. Hold on, you need shield? I have a DMR and a shotgun. There's no way I'm winning this. Okay, get by the rock, and then we can start. Are we ready? You ready? There's no way I'm winning this with a DMR. I can't even zoom in with this. Yep, let's Attack. go. Kame, Kame. Ah. See, they didn't even shoot at me. Woo. Come on, Jackie! Oh, I suck. This thing shoots so slow! No. <laughs> what happened? Well. <laughs> Let's see, I have zero crown wins, I think. I don't even have a crown! What? So there you go, that is my myth-busting episode. I didn't test as many things as I would have liked, but some interesting things and maybe some tips and tricks that could save you in your next match. So again, if you have any that you want me to test, let me know in the comments. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.